Hey, what's up? It's Phil from Easy Unreal. Uh, let's create uh, our uh, MetaHuman. If this is your first time with MetaHuman, uh, I think this video will help you out. So uh, let's go. The first thing that we need to do is to download our 5.6 uh, game engine. I'm using 5.6. And over here, when you download it, in this drop down menu, click Options here. And you can see MetaHuman Creator Core Data. Make sure that this is enabled and hit Apply. If you have problems with a MetaHuman installation and enabling the plugin, check out this video. After that, uh, just click Launch and Launch Unreal Engine. Over here, I will go with the games and the third person. And it says that uh, new plugins are available. You can click Manage Plugins or go over here under the Edit and click Plugins here and type in MetaHuman and make sure to enable everything here. MetaHuman core tech, this is most important, MetaHuman creator. When you enable your MetaHuman creator, just hit yes. And we don't need for now this MetaHuman live link, it's not important. I will cover uh, this in some later tutorials, so stay tuned. Hit restart now. After that, we can close this and let's create our first MetaHuman. To do that, go to content folder, right click, MetaHuman, MetaHuman character. We can call this the one. Make sure to save everything with Control Shift and S. Double click to open it up and you can see missing project settings. So wait for a few moments and make sure to click this enable missing. This is very important and it will ask you to restart uh, engine again. So let's go restart again. Double click your MetaHuman and after the load, I will put it here. I will now go run through uh, the MetaHuman creator. We can start with press it here. Over here, you can choose the character. For example, let's uh, double click this one. You can double click or click here, apply preset. Now it's the same and it will apply MetaHuman character. As you can see, we need to wait uh, for a little bit to render the hair. We can see preparing the groom bindings. You need to wait for this if you want to see the hair. On the top menu here, we can choose the preset with the topology. So you can see the topology, skin or with can go with the clay. Let's go back to skin and uh, to move around, uh, use the middle mouse button, click it and you can pan around with the left mouse button. You can rotate left and right, up and down, mouse wheel up and down to zoom and you can also zoom while holding the right mouse button. This is how we move around. Uh, if you want to change some environment, you can see the studio here and over here you can change the light. So you can see how your MetaHuman looks in a different uh, light. So we go with this one and you got a point. This is how you change your light. So let's go back to studio, our default state. On the right side, we can select a camera framing, click this face. It will go directly to your face, body, and this is a far view. So you can quickly change between those views. Let's go back to face. We don't need to worry about LOD or level of details. And on the right side, we can select rendering quality to be medium. Uh, you can immediately see the differences in shadows, high and epic. I will go with the medium. On the right side, you can see the grooms. You can see hidden if you want to hide the grooms, visible, or you can uh, outfit clothing, hidden or visible. If you don't want to see the status information, just click here toggle viewport overlay and it's gone. Uh, let's move on. Let's move to the body. If you find this video helpful, you can support me on Patreon. It will be highly appreciated. Thank you. Click the body and we have some options here. Under the blend, we can blend different bodies. So you can see these bodies here. So if you put three different bodies in these areas, for example, this is our uh, Ada, this is our era or original body, so we can change for Eta and Dominic. And now if you move this, you can change, for example, face, but this works also for the body. You can see that you can change ties, for example, and so on. This means that you can blend three different bodies into one. This will work with the face too. I will show you how. We can just remove it for now. Let's go back to skin. You can see this you can see if I move this uh, manipulator, it doesn't do nothing because we removed this 
body but I want to show you if you change the size you can change the size of this manipulator so you can easily move things let's go back to a little bit smaller after that if you are not uh, satisfied you can always click here reset body parameters and it will go back to the default of your uh, body let's uh, move further if we click this conform you can import DNA and you can do this from a template right now we will skip this uh, but just for you to know you can import a metahuman DNA file DNA file is the file that uh, consists of geometry joint positions skeletons and so on uh, when you are doing some outside of Unreal and you want to um, import it inside the Unreal let's move further to the model this is the most fun part uh, you can change a lot and lots of parameters here uh, I'm afraid to touch anything because everything I touch I turn into some ugly ugly things so may I don't know if you're interested but we can make a competition about this who can make uglier uh, meta human just drop a comment below if you if that's something that will be fine or funny I don't know we can change the upper torso lower torso neck arms legs and so on and if you're not happy of course just hit here reset body after that uh, let's uh, move on to the head and as always I will go with skin uh, you can combine three different heads from these assets already available so you can change quickly between them as I show you with the body presets if you're not happy about this always you have these reset head parameters and if you mess something up you have this align neck to body so it uh, works fine with uh, for example uh, when you are adding some clothes to your character okay we have this blend we have transform so you can transform this face you can move parts very very precisely browse making some other motions so on see ears and uh, you can change the speed if you pump out the speed it will very quickly move things around so we can go back and um, also if you this is a symmetric uh, manipulation so if you move one eye it will move the other for example and if and if you want to turn off this symmetric manipulation you, and now you can just manipulate for example the right side of the face you have this this is a screen shape you have translate so you can uh, translate with our familiar controls uh, we can also rotate it's also familiar familiar with the rotation or you can rotate the eyes for example as I said I I try to not to break this too much because I have a tendency to you know to break things up and and always reset head perimeters to go back to normal uh, let's go back to sculpt over here we can uh, sculpt which means we can also make some tiny details they will look super super good uh, same all same all reset if we go to the teeth and eyelashes you can change the teeth if you want to see it better you can change this jaw open so open the jaw open the jaw and we can change the change completely how it looks like we have very very detailed manipulation here which is super awesome and we'll go to eyelashes you can change for example eyelashes after that we move to the materials and other materials we have skin eyes makeup and teeth and eyelashes you can change the skin tone uh, freckles uh, for example if you want to add freckles add here and add the density under the eyes you can change a lot here for example just double click the eyes you want to change and we will immediately change the color of the eyes uh, uh, you can change the iris you can change the iris rotation iris dilation you have lots of these options here move up to makeup we can add some makeup here uh, change the intensity concealer quincy I'm not a, I'm not that versed in this makeup thing but it always my creations always go to the wrong direction so let's go with the teeth and eyelashes you can change the teeth color which is super funny so you can make some crazy uh, add some black change the jaw after that we go to the hair and clothing and you can see the hair and change the hair here different styles just double click on a hair to apply it as always you need to wait to prepare uh, groom bindings so just wait a little bit and you can see a different hair 
uh, if you move on we can change the eyebrows here and if we move on you can see the eyelashes mustache and uh, after that after you're happy with your metahuman you can always it's it's important so to able to move this metahuman to our uh, level we need to assemble so go to the assembly and it says character is not rigged so we need to, to create a full rig so just click this uh, create full rig and wait for a few moments so metahuman is rigged after that we will need to download the textures and we can preview some animations here so you can see how it looks so click here create full rig and now it will auto rigging face mesh if you have problem with this usually the problem arises if you're not logged in into a metahuman website so make sure to log in into metahuman website or, or check out the video that i show you at the beginning uh, you have a link in the description if you have any problems after you rigged your character you can see the warning that the character is missing textures use download texture sources to create them before assembling so we need to click this download texture source and you can choose the resolution of your textures let's go with 2k and wait for a bit you can see on the left side the asset you're editing is rigged press it and material selections and modeling operations require that the rig is deleted and to unlock editing this means when you want to edit your character again you need to remove rig and to remove rig just click here i won't do that it's too much time to wait uh, but you get the point remove the rig edit it and again create rig download textures and your metahuman will be ready uh, and if you go on the right side you can see face animation now available you can change for example from idle to face and if you hit play here play you can see the animations easily preview these things you can see the animations and click play and you can also change the body animation uh, grooms preview preview uh, clothing uh, we can hide the grooms and so on after that we go to the our uh, level and you can see the metahuman i will save everything with shift control s make sure to save often because it can crash and it's very very annoying and uh, i'm sorry we need to go back i want to assemble the metahuman because i want to drag it to the level uh, i have a problem with this i don't have this option so just make sure to close this and open it again and now if you go to assembly on the left side you can click assemble just just click it and wait for a few moments it will take some time but now it will build your metahuman after our metahuman is assembled you can go back to your level and go here you can see metahumans uh, folder and click on the name of your metahuman i will go with Control shift and s to save everything just in case just drag and drop this metahuman to your level and you will be able to see it here and if i hit play from here and press f11 to go full screen you'll be able to see your metahuman and it's ready for your unreal engine 5 projects and this is it guys uh, if you find this uh, video helpful uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, see you in the next one bye bye